Welcome to Ace Designs 107, I'm the Essendon Car Pack, you are the Kings and Queens, and today what if these guys is a Photoshop tutorial showing you how you can make your own advertisement wallpaper or, you know, image for your favourite company or RC contest or anything like that in general. So yeah, we're going to be making one for Imagine Controllers today using the Saw controller, and yeah, so we're going to open up Photoshop first of all, and today's tutorial won't be that hard um you know it's just more about it's the abstract feel of placing the right you know brushes where they're supposed to go so that's what we're going to do so first of all we're going to do file n and we're going to make the size of this document 1920 by 1080p and i'm just going to go close my door right sweet that's a lot better and then the next step that I'm going to do is bring in the PNG of my product. So, actually, I'm going to um, bring in the assets. So, I have all these assets that I'll be using, and I'll also be making my own custom brushes. So, that's what we're going to get onto later, also. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is bring on this one into my document and then that should just fit like here press ctrl t and i can resize this one to whatever but i might just resize that up like that great then the next thing that i'm going to do is press ctrl u and just bring down the saturation all like that and then bring up the lightness to something not too heavy something like that is nice then the next step that I'm going to do is bring in this, you know, paint stock, I guess you could say, and just resize that one up and place it there. Then press Ctrl U, and again, the saturation right down, and also the lightness. But before I do that, I'm going to make my lightness zero as that, and then bring this one onto soft light or overlay or something that is a nice little thing like that there and I'm also going to bring down the opacity on this shape one so now when I press ctrl u and bring up the um, lightness on this one we should get something like this then for my rectangle you know stock here what I'm going to do is go to filter blur glushing blur with that lay selected and just do a small little radius let's do one Point five, then press OK. Alright, sweet. So that is looking good for now. So the next thing that I'm going to do is bring in my controller. So to do that, before I have to before I can bring it in, what I'm going to do is make it a PNG, which means that I just have the image with a transparent document. So first of all I'm gonna unlock that background, make a new layer and drag the transparent layer below the controller one. Then I'm going to use my one tool, let's do a tolerance of two hundred um or like 100 i just need to get it so i have the controller only maybe 150 and there so that is going to select the majority of the controller so now what i have to do is bring up my magic uh, quick selection tool and make sure it's on minus and just quickly just minus these ones out of that so I get that shape there going and I'll do the same there right sweet so now the rest of the controller is selected I can press ctrl 0 to zoom back out and then I can just simply press D to um, delete to delete that white background and then I just have the controller I'm going to bring this controller onto my document and I'm going to position it in front of all of my stocks I'm also going to make these stocks um, point out a bit more with my lightness so what I'm going to try and do is probably put this on normal and then just simply press ctrl u and bring down the light something like that and then go with the opacity lighter 
Okay, and then I can press Control L to bring up my levels and just to really make my blacks a bit more seen. Alright, sweet. So then I'm just going to merge that um, layers together or just press Control Group those and I can just move the opacity down like that. Whatever's like that. I think that's right actually. Alright, so then I'm just going to rename this one and do background. And with my controller, I'm going to name this controller. We aren't going to do much to the controller itself. We're just going to make the backings really nice, if that makes sense. So, um, so what I'm going to do is press Control T, hold Shift and Alt, and resize this one down. Uh, probably a good size like this. You want to make the product stand out. So I think something like that will look good. Then I'm going to go to File New and make the size of this document 1000 by 1000. Or let's do, I don't need a brush that big, 300 by 300. So we're going to go ahead and make our custom brush. I've done this brush again before, but I'm just going to redo it because it doesn't really hurt. So I'm going to make a new layer and just simply um, on this new layer make a little line like this. Oh my god, why do you have to start the construction when I do my video, moit? Let me close the door. So, nah, that's gonna be in the background, but I guess I can't really do anything with just my fucking neighbors. Right, so, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna fill this one in with black. And I'm gonna press Ctrl J and just simply bring this one down like that sorry if like the background noise is annoying but i can't really stop it so yeah so then i'm gonna just simply just do this a couple times and then um it should work out i can merge all these together press ctrl j hold shift and then bring that one down again Good. define a brush preset all right sweet so now i've just got a second um brush like this so it looks like that, so great. So now I'm going to change the size of this one to 200. Uh, let's do 150. And bam, I'm just gonna do something like that. Press Control T, move it out like here. And then I can just simply press Control T, right click, do wrap, and just pull in the edges. Get that abstract you know you know feel going if you don't like it you can just simply keep it like that then you can press ctrl j press v and move that one down here simply bring it down to here resize it a little bit and then bam you've got a new little brush press ctrl j here move this one out press ctrl t resize it bam Bump up the size a little bit, rotate, press Ctrl T, bring this one up here, and then you've got something like that. So then what we're going to do is just merge all these together, and we can name these patterns, whatever you would like. I'm going to make a new layer now, press B for our brush tool. Now I've got a couple of paint splatter brushes here, which is, should be nice. So I'm just going to simply just do a couple of paint splatters and what you'll see now is I'll start to like kind of develop like a nice little abstract um you know feel towards the document and something like that and I need some more particles on the other side of this one so I'm gonna just change my brush size to 400 maybe yeah something like that so now I can just simply go to the opacity on all these 
and bring it down to something like 40 40 should be good and that that's looking a lot more suitable so then the next thing that i'm going to do is make a new document new layer and just make some stripes with my pen tool so i'm going to do that nothing too fancy just more of an abstract feel as i said um yeah you shouldn't be scared just going to fill this one in full black press ctrl j and move this one down like that press ctrl e press ctrl j press ctrl t press uh flip horizontally and flip vertically so then we get something like that bam and we can merge these two together uh just move these ones up a little bit and across and then go to the opacity and move this one like that so it's slightly stronger than the brushes and everything else and i'll also bring those ones down a little bit right sweet so now we've got that one going on now with our controller we can actually go to the blending options and just chuck on a really small drop shadow so just do something like this and they'll create depth you know you don't have to you can keep it 2d or that but you know this one kind of like pops it out i guess a little bit so we might try this one and we'll keep that on there as an option and you can just simply hide the effects when needed so then we're going to make a new layer this is still going to be below this now i'm just going to group all these ones and this one's going to be my brushes since my brushes is done i don't need to do anything more with them then on this layer what i'm going to do is make a rectangular marque tool and just simply go there all right then what i can do is fill this one in with a similar purple on my controller just keeping that same you know color feel and i'm going to chuck this one into overlay or soft light or something like that just so i can kind of blend with the background so i'm actually going to make a new background and merge this one together and create a clipping mask to that one and maybe yeah it's not going to work um what can i do with this one i can just change the opacity slightly something like that then i'm going to make a new layer black and white here but instead of the white i'll just do gray like that go to filter render clouds just right click do create clipping mask that's going to create a clipping mask there and let's do the fill or let's chuck this one into overlay or something like that soft light yes yeah, soft light looks good so now it just gives that textury feel which is what we're after we can just press ctrl j a little bit right click do create clipping mask and that will like even make it more like more appropriate so something like that and then we can press ctrl u on this one and bring up the lightness to whatever we see fit sweet so then what i'm going to do is press t for my text tool do white and i'm going to be typing with code this um code bold i'll leave a link in the description below so you can go download that one so yeah that's going to be exciting press ctrl t and resize this one up just a really simple and minimalistic font and i'm going to press um pen for my pen tool and just make a little cutout like on here you know all these little little abstract feels i guess really adds up in the end then i'm going to make a new layer there's going to be my brush layer here press b for my brush tool and i'm going to go ahead and select that brush that i've made i'm going to just change the size of this one do something that i can see fit so there i'm going to make that brush but before i do that i'm going to pick my purple something like that all right i'm gonna con control click this thumbnail select my brush lane delete that so it's not transparent through there and that's looking good press ctrl u and just make this a darker purple in the lightness area that just saves us you know press ctrl and then filling that all in nice little touch there all right and then for our saw text i'm going to be using the 
same purple from here. I'm going to be making sure I'm typing with bolt. Same everything like that. Do saw. And this one is going to be on the smooth. Oh, let's do bolt there. And with the VA spacing, let's just try and do something like that. Alright, sweet. Something like this. Bring down the size a little bit. Nice. So there we got Saw Edge, PS4, and then we're going to do use, use Saw Code, whatever code Saw. So let's do use code. So, so this count. All right, great. And I'm just gonna bring this one onto our document, such as that. Then what I'm actually going to do is change the VA spacing right up to something suitable. So maybe that one, but it's not a strong enough font. So what I'm going to try and do is try and go to code, code, very bold, and then try that one. If that one doesn't suit, I can try typography pro. and to bring that one there so we have something like that now I'm gonna open up my logo pack real quick shouldn't take too long logo pack logo icon pack there we go and I'm going to do sponsor where's imaginary imaginary customers right sweet they're this one isn't too high res, but that's fine because we're going to just simply right click, do blending options, chuck this one into a color overlay, bam, bam, bam. Go to soft light. <coughs> <coughs> Change that all right. And do a razor tool, but with the razor, what we're gonna do is do brushes and just simply raise logo something like that All right sweet and then I can go into my clan logos do saw and bring this one into my document just control T resize this one right up right click do copy lay style paste just saves us from doing some stuff and Right click that one, bring this one over here, and just simply erase some of that stuff. Shouldn't be too hard. Bring down the opacity a little bit, and then bam, we have the saw and imaginary there. And then what we can do is just do designed by designed. whatever your name is there and then you can just you know have a little designer or something whatever but i'm not going to do that because it is just a tutorial and i hope that you learned some stuff from this hey guys ace designs 107 here thank you so much for watching the tutorial make sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already that will be much appreciated on my part i really do hope that you learned some new techniques in photoshop and got to make a really cool advertisement poster for yourself I'd love to see what you've made via Twitter, so send me through your pictures of what you have made at Twitter at AceDesigns107. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching the tutorial, and I hope to see you on my channel later on in the future.